Man, it's hard to even know where to begin. It just feels like it's just uh, chaos, I swear to God. I go on to TikTok and I don't even know. I don't even know what they've done to my algorithm. It's so bizarre at this point. But um, the people I see in between all the commercials, and I swear to God, it's every other TikTok is a tarot person speaking to me. And what was the other one? It was something, oh, I think as I sit and listen to them, uh, so I get a ton of them, the tarot ones and um, the taxi cab psychic. He's on there now, and so he keeps doing a lot of them. I've seen his show on there, or I've seen his show on TV. And then I um, I think I'd seen the whole season or something, and I wanted to see more, but I guess there's more. But he's putting them uh, on TikTok with little clips of him and stuff. He's really, really, man, that guy is impressive. Um, so anyways, I really like that show. I really like that guy. He's another guy I would like to meet. Mark Mateos to Stefano and um, the taxi cab psychic guy. Because they both just, um, I don't know, they seem to get it, to know. And uh, like him, you know, he is, um, well, he has to take some heat. Because a lot of people, you know, think that that's from the devil and stuff like that. And, um, you know, people get in his uh, cab and then they're just like, you know, think he's weird. I've seen clips before where a lot of people have to get out of it and stuff. But um, uh, Mateo Stefano too, when he talks about stuff, like, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. There's a different vibrations out there. And that is one of the things that is just kind of drives me crazy when I go on there is how many of these people who think they have all of the answers, they've got it all figured out. They come out and say, well, I've got it all figured out now. I know what's going on. And, and there's so much of it is just like, no, it's so much bigger than that. There's so much more going on than that. And I don't know, that's just part of the way, I guess, for them to all get to that way of understanding and seeing. I did see this one video, this girl was super, super emotional. And she, I'm not sure what, if she was reciting the Agenda 2030, one of these documents that say what they think of us and you know, what they're gonna do to us. And she's very emotional. <clears throat> and it was good, she's had an accent. And um, she's very attractive and stuff. So it was like, uh, perfect. She says all this stuff. She's very emotional. She's like down to earth about it and stuff. I'm going to send it um, to my siblings. So I sent it to two of my kids. Of course, to my mom. I send her all that stuff. Um, but to a couple of my siblings. It's kind of like 2020 when I sent out the Judy <laughs> Judy tape. I was like, well, see what happens. Well, then I didn't even, I, I mean, I had no idea what to expect at that point. I didn't know everything was about to blow up in our relationships and all that shit. So, um, yeah, we'll see, you know, are they ready to start admitting? And, you know, one of the things, too, is... Um, you know, every time I go in to do my hair or anything, even when I'm vacuuming and I have to fucking this little, uh, my daughter got me some little plug-in vacuum thing <clears throat> and I didn't have a big rug then. Now I have this big rug and, um, but it gets stopped up. Whoever designed it, I was like, oh my God, I swear to God. And so it gets stopped up in this long tube and you have to clear it out and everything. So I have to clear it out all the time. But how much of my hair is it? <laughs> so much of my hair. I was like, oh. And, and see, and I don't consent to that. And so where these people are all like, nothing can happen to you if you don't consent to it. They can't really hurt you. And the only way they can hurt you is if you think they can hurt you. There's a lot of people out there saying that kind of stuff. Yeah, the love and light people, I think they are. And, you know, the, the ones who are in the 5D and they're looking down upon us. It's like, I don't know. That's not how I look at it. But, um, 
so all of those people who think that, you know, what I was saying, like, they are affecting us with frequency and chemicals and stuff. Because, I mean, people are getting sick and they don't have any idea why they're getting sick. So, therefore, they're not consenting. Like, they're getting sick and dying and they don't even know, you know, why. And so, these people who are like, well, they can't do anything to you. I'm like, well, I'm still getting sick and dying. So, <clears throat> you know, and that, I mean, just, uh, you know, this morning I was putting my lotion. And I was thinking about... Oh, I see these videos where these people are like, uh, you got to go out in the sun and activate your pineal gland and all of this kind of stuff. And I was thinking, you know what I think um, the sun is about is it activates our melanin and it gets our blood flowing. Like there's a communication in the iron of our blood, depending on how much melanin you have. And so, you know, a lot of darker people stay out of the sun because they don't want to get, I think it's called, a, not dusty looking, but kind of dusty looking. It's kind of a whitish kind of colorish, ashy, ashy. I think it's called ashy. I think they call it, it makes your skin look ashy. And it does, it looks like, a, like ashes on it. And, um, and I don't know that that's every single person. I mean, there's lots of people who have no choice but to be out in the sun all the time. But the, um, the thing is, is that then they tell the lighter folk, you know, the ones who have barely any to begin with, that to slather themselves in this, you know, repellent of the sun, so it repels the sun rays. And as a matter of fact, we're going to put a little poison in there to give you some cancer. Because how dare you want to have time off from work and go lay on a beach somewhere. I'm like, <laughs> they just want to freaking, um, you know, it's like a double whammy. Uh, you know, we're not going to get any benefits from the sun. And plus, we're going to give you cancer for even wanting to. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, so, anyways, I think that that's something more with that. Then where people are like, it, it, it probably activates a lot of things. Just like going out and walking on uh, without rubber between your feet and the ground is really good for you're stabilizing your own energy, like grounding and stuff like that. So I even saw some really cool shoes um, that have they look kind of they look kind of like the shoes I have on but they have a thing on the bottom where they poke a hole and then they put a copper thing in it so your shoes all the time are always grounding with copper because that is really good and you know what I started doing too with my copper um water drinker thing because I'll fill it up on a couple times a week and then I'll pour it into my glass but also um doing the um, plants water with copper and, and giving that to them. A couple of my plants um, are still really, really struggling and I, I don't know, you know, what, it's, it's really hard to, especially when you have so many of them struggling, but a lot of them are doing a lot better. So and there's one that I really, really like and I've moved it down into intensive care down here, but sometimes it's like, oh, I don't even know what to do for you. I don't even know who, you know, who or what you are, really. Uh, I guess I can use the phone and it has some little thing. You can take a picture of it on an Apple phone and then you go into the picture and you move it up or something. It will tell you about the plant or whatever you took a picture of. Um, but there was some other stuff I want to talk about. So California has already got um, <clears throat> the atmospheric river is just um, destroying uh, places like I, I don't even know like there's so much destruction there in the mount there's so much destruction going on there but one thing I did see some people in I think Arrowhead or Big Bear and they were talking about you know there was no help I mean they had been trapped for like two weeks and there was no help and stuff but she said it was really cool because all the neighbors came together everybody started helping one another and see that is the awakening. That's the real awakening thing. <clears throat> is to us all to come together. And to see what's important. And to see. You know building communities. 
you know, like I said, it's going to be different in all different places. I thought this was really, really cool. I was bawling when I saw this this morning, especially because I was just talking about connecting with your soul through dance and stuff. And so apparently in Iran, there was a, like a dance team or there was a group of girls and I didn't, I don't know anything about this. I just saw one little picture and they look like they're all dressed, their hair down and everything. Uh, dressed in like really colorful clothes and they're up on a roof dancing and then apparently I guess they got arrested which is crazy because I thought I would have thought they just would just immediately uh, do them in but they didn't they arrested him and then uh, took him home supposedly and you know I don't know but all of um, the different women now have gone into uh, solidarity for what they were you know, uh, dancing for freedom or something. Oh, it gets me so emotional because I can see them all too. All the women who were sending in all these videos doing the same dance. Because, I don't know, there's something with our souls in dancing for sure. It's like a, it's like a language that we can understand and our souls and so i thought that's so cool that they're using dance as this communication of freedom at this time and so it's just a whole bunch of videos of all these different um women it doesn't show the top of them it just shows the bottoms of them doing this dance and um i just thought that is that is the that is the movement. That is the the bringing us together in unity and uh, in solidarity and, you know, seeing that we are all the same instead of, you know, how they want to keep us all divided. That is one thing that that woman was seeing in that video, you know, uh, what they've done to keep us divided and keep us hating ourselves and keep us down and stuff like that, you know, and they laugh about it. They think it's fun times. Um, because they think we're so, you know, stupid. And, and they even say, you know, we're so ignorant. We'll just go chase things around. Just like what I keep saying, you know, chasing these shiny objects, fill my pockets, you know, and we'll do anything to get them. And, you know, that is, um, you know, that's in, inside of some people in this place, you know, really brings it to the surface. And, you know, for those of us who don't want that kind of lifestyle, it is a, you know, sad, depressing place. It just is like, what is wrong with these people all the time? Like, what is wrong with them? Like, uh, you know, I don't know. I spent a lot of time <laughs> just wondering because I was just so different throughout so much of my life. Well, my whole life. But I was just so different. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time wondering, like, you know, why? Why am I so different? Like, what is up with these people? But not wanting to become like them, you know, just like when I got the brain injury and I saw, like, I'm smarter than all these people. It's because they just rely on technology. They don't want to think for themselves. They don't care. They just want something to make them feel good. And they even say in that thing that they'll use depravity and perversion and stuff to draw us in. And look how well that worked. How many people, how many men have ruined their um, relationships because they are addicted to, uh, you know, and, and, and it is hurtful to the woman, you know, for the guy to be, you know, just completely obsessed with that. But the thing is, is that he, he's struggling inside too. He, he's he got himself to a point. It's like a, a, a heroin junkie who is like, you know, no matter how much stuff they get, it's not doing anything for them. And so that's what happens with all addictions. You know, you just keep, uh, it's like, it's like kind of like if you had a matchstick and that was your, um, what is that word called? Your, um, your, not sensuality, but your intensity, your, um, uh, that, that kind of connection, you know, and you have that. And then it's like, they burn it out. 
is like this consumption and and then once they burn it out then it's like it's just this emptiness of like you know especially for people who have gotten that big high before who are constantly looking for that high you know I mean if you see these people start tying shit around their necks and stuff like it's mental like uh, this search for something to feel something to make them feel good something you know, something, something, just something, <laughs> all searching for something, and, you know, but, uh, pleasure, uh, comes with a connection, really, you know, it's, it's your connection, like, it is, um, it's like, the more that you connect, but we have all these people who are, like, running around trying to disconnect, like, they want this, you know, super sexy, exciting story with no connection. It's like, it's very, I, I don't know. I mean, all this stuff has to blow up in their faces. You know, it has to go in this direction. Um, I guess apparently because there's people so concerned about California who've been looking up about the earthquake um, stuff. And so the most activity right now is in Yellowstone. <laughs> That's not good. So who knows what we're in for? I swear to God, there is no telling what we are in for. Fucking, if fucking uh, Yellowstone goes off, like that's bad. That's bad. That's super volcano. You can look up about that terrifying situation. <laughs> that's that's not a good one. And so, uh, and that's up here by me. So we got the whole fault line. We got we got so many things that can be coming. Uh, you know, it's just like oh well, just gonna just relax and see what happens. Um, I did watch all of Trump's thing yesterday, and it is you know it irritates me of course because I'm anti-election anyways. I'm anti-government. Fuck the bullshit. But I get you know that he's got to talk to people who are not on my level. It would be a different conversation. Yeah, these fucking things. So, and even this stuff is going to become to the point where there's going to be impossible to even pretend. To even, you know, so, you know, I don't know what's going to go on with all this fucking 2024 bullshit. But, um, to me, it's that, you know, campaigning on, and it's just real perfect timing to have him out there every he's he opened the question and answer and time at and and every single person who got up called him mr president and um thanked him and stuff like that and so all of those things are awakening things to anybody who tunes in anybody who's sick of joe's like you know maybe i'm gonna vote for somebody else this year i'm, I'm gonna tune into this cpac thing and just see what this trump fellow says you know and he's just his hair was so fucking bright silver. It was it was insane how bright his hair was silver. And um, and you can tell. He has been in the med beds. Like, there's no fucking way. This guy is getting younger. He is not getting older. And that bright silver hair was definitely... Uh, I had watched enough people talking about the comps on that. He's trying to get you to think about silver because it's about to go. And, you know... Some of us know, and some people will learn the hard way, but that's what they came to learn. You know, I'm just excited for my position. <laughs> I'm excited for just that in itself, to go through your life and just be, you know, this weirdo, and then to finally get to the part where it's like, oh, I'm seeing these things, and I'm making these decisions, and I'm changing my life, and and y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know what's coming. Y'all don't even know what I'm doing. It's like, uh, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, I wish I had even more silver. I wish, you know, I could have, but I'm so grateful for how much I have. I'm so excited for, um, yeah, I mean, everything is going to be changing so much. But so um, when he was talking, he definitely said more about the you know freedom cities and stuff and it's going to be promoting and giving incentives to people to build their families there you know where the other people say there's too many people you know we're trying to sterilize you without you knowing it 
There's another thing that just came out that is another one that they are doing that is sterilizing women without women knowing it. It's, it's something, the food or something. I can't remember what it was. Another fucking thing, though. It's just one after another. And, and then while they're doing it, you know, it's causes so many problems. Mutants, mutations to be born and for uh, this constant uh, miscarrying and uh, fibro. I had, I had to get a hysterectomy because of all the stuff that they had done. Fibroids and cysts and all that stuff. So, you know, I know the med beds are going to fix all of the, the damage that they've done with all of their chemicals and stuff. But, um, you know, his cities are going to be about promoting that. It, I, I swear to God, he said something about quantum. Um, he didn't say much. I don't think he said anything really about the money thing. I think it, a lot of the stuff is like, you just kind of have to know. You know, there would be a lot more stuff that people would know and understand if they would quit getting stuck. And they would see, like, we're in a reset. This is all about a reset. This is a, a spiritual evolution. This is uh, way bigger than what these people all think it is. And, and in the reset, in changing the cycles, we're going into the Jubilee. This is all fits into the cycles of the earth. Like, uh, you know, so where these people are like, that's not happening. I saw it. Well, okay, you go tell the earth that then. Go tell the universe that. Because I'm not going to argue with you. You think what you want to think. You know, maybe you're going to put yourself on a different timeline. I don't fucking know. But the stuff is happening. The money is going back to people. It's shocking to me is, um, you know, watching these people on TikTok. Oh, okay, well, this bank failed now, but I'm pretty sure that my bank's not going to fail. It's like, dude, god damn. It's not just the banks. It is the entire fucking financial system is collapsing. The American dollar is over. The fiat counterfeit fucking bullshit system that enslaved us is over. It's going down slowly because oh, people can wrap their heads around it. But as it goes slowly, they don't sit there and think, well, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. No. They're just like, well, I don't think that's going to happen at mine. Well, it's going to happen at all of them. And, you know, I've seen where these guys coming on and telling, like, well, there, there's going to be a bank. But I don't even know all the stuff that people are. I don't think that there's going to be banks like this. We're not. It's going to be so different that with a quantum thing financial healing all of it is going to be so so different it's not going to be that we're going to be going out to these institutes like that and have a, a i mean maybe some people will have financial helpers or something with their money i would think there's going to be a lot of um help he definitely said there's going to be tons of incentives for homes for property and for um helping build families about all sorts of stuff that are going to be going on and they're going to be in safe places he says all of those certain words that i'm looking for him to say and then he says them besides the fact i just said that he was going to be doing this and then turns around and does it so to me when they're telling me he's going to be you know showing me and then he does so i feel confident that that is, um, you know, a good place to be headed. And it's going to be taken off. And like I keep saying, you know, there's going to be all sorts of opportunities for people to be a part of communities as they're building, to take any kind of leadership roles. The leadership is not going to be this kind of corrupt system that it used to be. Where, you know, you get in there and then you got mafia paying you off for this and forcing you into that and all this bullshit that has been going on for so long. All of that stuff is not going to be the same. It's going to be, <clears throat> you know, because we're purging out that kind of energy and, you know, getting rid of it. And that's why, you know, people got to heal if they're carrying that kind of energy. And people got to realize this is the energy that you've participated in this game 
So it's up to you to purge it out. You're the one who has to release this energy so that you can move up, level up into this game as it keeps going. <coughs> because it's, um, you know, it was moving into this time of abundance and, um, you know, the Jubilee is going to be, um, it's just going to be a lot different, but you have to be able to be ready to accept. You know, there's so many people who aren't, there's so many people who don't trust anything. Oh my God. I can't even tell you how many fucking, um, uh, uh, religious things are on there right now. And I thought the Euphrates dried up a couple of weeks ago, but there's all these people talking about the Euphrates and the angels and there's going to be more and more that's going to keep being expo exposed. You know, it's going to, they're going to keep all these kinds of things. Like, I don't know what's in the Euphrates. I thought that there was a cave. I thought that there was going to be, I mean, there's going to be more and more hidden truth. I can't believe how many different things. I just saw this uh, crazy thing with numbers. Like, man, uh, like there's so many um, hidden, hidden truths, hidden things, you know, uh, the number of thing that I saw was something about the Masonic or somehow everything adds to six, 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 and then 33, like all this weird kind of number stuff, like, um, you know, and that's where that gematria numerology, and I think even with, that, because in Supernatural, and I've seen this in other things too, but they're, um, like this, the hidden, like this is whatever the school, their, their hidden stuff that they do, um, you know, in the hidden dark rooms and basements or wherever it is, is, um, because they have the lost knowledge or something, all this stuff that, you know, we're always wondering that they have it but they keep it stashed away so that they can use it. And, uh, you know, we don't have it. And I think that is a part of all this bullshit with this Illuminati. Like somebody was just showing us, um, I, I, I don't know if it's the Grammys or the Oscars or something. Or somebody, I won this award and they all stand up and start doing this to him. I was like, what? <laughs> what the hell kind of... But see, they, these people who do this kind of shit, they all think they're, you know, in the club. They're part of the, you know, they get to know, they, like, uh, uh, Madonna, she very much think Lady Gaga, who knows how much shit, but they definitely don't know all the shit, no matter if they know some. And I think that's where they come up with this, um, the weird stuff with their blood rituals and their eating thing, you know. Because when they know it's, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I, I think there's something about the energy consumption and uh, that they know, you know, this isn't, this isn't real. This is holograms, but, you know, the thing is, is you're going and doing this to people who think it is real. So I think that's putting bad karma out there personally, you know. I don't know. We'll see how this all goes down. I think, you know, those people are going to be uh, leaving the planet. You know, I don't think they're going to be around. Yeah. Oh, and he started talking about who was going to be his running mate. He brought that up a couple times. And I don't know if somebody was yelling it at him about JFK Jr. or something. I'm not sure. Um, I've seen pictures now. Like that guy, I for sure think that, that guy's alive. I think Michael Jackson probably is the footage I've seen of after he supposedly died and then he gets out of the ambulance just like Ann Hesh. Like, you see this stuff. It's like, um, and uh, Michael Jackson, he was supposedly burned way more. And then plus he liked to go around in masks and stuff and go and live and interact with people without them knowing who he was because then it's not a true interaction it's the same thing with science <coughs> what i was talking about yesterday you know you gotta 
yeah, well, does it work the same if I do it at night? Does it work the same if I do it twice? Does it work the same if I do it at this hour? Does it work the same if I do it in the bathroom as if I do it in the kitchen? Like there's so many uh, um, possibilities to any experiment that, you know, there's um, an endless. So that is the same thing, you know, um, you know, for him, if he wants to go out and interact with people without them knowing, like, I mean, what a horrible way that every single person always to just treat you exactly the same, you know, like, you know what I mean? After a while, it's like it kind of would lose its, uh, you know, you just yearn for a really authentic conversation where somebody wasn't just hanging on your every word. What did he say? What did he have to say about it? It's like, well, maybe they want to hear what you have to say about it, you know? And I don't know. I just feel like I completely can see if he was really alive and just going around and pretending he was dead with makeup on all the time so that he could, you know, just be around people mm -hmm. and listen to people and talk to people and just be regular, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people, they... They yearn for something, and then once they have it, it's like, man, what I had wasn't so bad after all. You know, there's a dark side to everything. Everything has a, a light and a dark, and there's a lot of darkness that has been associated with, you know, and besides the fact <laughs> that, um, who was that? Uh, that guy, it wasn't Kevin Hart. Is his name Cat? I can't think of it. There's a little darker guy, but he's kind of like Kevin Hart, but he's, he's got a funny voice. Um, but he was just saying about that, um, you know, once you reach this certain part of um, being famous, you know, and you're expected to uh, do or say what they want. And if you don't, they'll just destroy you or kill you or whatever. They don't. Um, you know, they don't care about you as the person. They only care about, like, what you can do for them or whatever. And so once you move up into there, you're just a puppet to them. Like, they feel like, oh, well, we gave you money. We gave you a chance. We gave you a part. We gave you this. Now you owe us. And um, so, you know, a lot of people got in there thinking it was something different. Thinking, you know, it was... Uh, fun thing and then found out it was not as fun as what they were expecting <laughs> I think <laughs> get in there and find out it's like it is a scary thing like man I am fuck I can't I don't know how many of these uh, people these singers who just like they'll trade their soul for a record deal or something like Man, just Lady Gaga. Like, there's so many. I mean, so many of the girls that, uh, you know, right away, well, they got to become a sex kitten. You got to put all your goodies out there if you want to, uh, want us to support. You want a record deal with us, then you're going to sell sex. And then, you know, they're going to have, it's so weird. Like, I still, with Jill giving a man the Woman of the Year award, uh, man winning these sports things, like all of that stuff. It's like, I mean, and what people will just accept, 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 except for if you're an old person pulling in driveways, like, get your shit together. Like, it's so funny. It just, to me, it's like, would you ever just go and sit to, you know, like a, a darker skinned person, you know, and be like, yeah, well, I know you wouldn't do that, but all the rest of them, yeah, they're all, it's like, people don't, people don't realize their own self. This, this is a great opportunity. You get to see your own self. But since they don't see their own selves and they've done so many, you know, tomfoolery, then when they do see themselves, it's going to be a big slap in the face. It's going to be like, I, I, and I have seen some people still calling themselves out, which, you know, that's really, that's the only way to go, is admit there's nowhere to hide anymore. 
There's nowhere to pretend, you know, it's all going to keep blowing up. There's no more of, um, everything has to be exposed. Everything has to come to the surface. Everything has to show its truth. There's no way to hide because it's energetically, <clears throat> it's like energetically the universe is removing all the obstacles. So you can't hide behind something. So when something comes up and you have to yield it because it's all going to be exposed, you can't, you know, it's, um, it's just that it's the shift is how things are shifting. And, you know, the, um, uh, what was it? There was some other kind of thing too that I had seen that I wanted to say. Because it was the weather things. There's more sky stuff. Uh, oh, the banking thing. That's what. The, um, so there's more of those that are crashing. Um, more people just, you know, go try and get some money and set it aside. That's why I have some. I didn't have it because I thought it would have value. I thought, well, if shit goes down, there's still be people who would value that that aren't going to understand. Like, I, I feel bad. I, but even if I called, like, the weed store, these places, I, it, all stores at this point, everything that is going out, there's they're going to see everything that is going out right now, there's nothing coming in. So everything that before on the books, it was an illusion. It was just on the books. But now it's not going to be able to be on the book. So there's going to be this giant, you know, shift of, uh, you know, everything's going to go. Like, I'm doing my part. Go out. I'm not going to panic and be like, oh, hold on to it. Hold on to it. No, spend it as fast as you fucking can. Collapse these motherfuckers because they can't cover their debts. They can't. It's like we all go in with our chip. Like, hey, wait, you know, I, I want mine. And you have people doing their runs on the bank, but, you know, all you got to do is just go out and just shop, 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 shop online. And, and not to, to know that any of the stuff will ever get here, because once things collapse, like, there's not going to be people being paid. There's not, I mean, who's going to go to work when they're not being paid? And I don't know if there will be a, some sort of a thing because yesterday he did say, he brought up the cops again, which to me, the cops are, you know, maybe there's two sets, you know, the robots and the ones that are going to diffuse chaos. Uh, I'm not sure. But, but he was saying about that we're, we're going to be a lot of cops and stuff. So I don't know if there would be certain, like when shit goes down, don't know how it's going to go in. I heard once the money collapses, it's automatically going to go quantum. It's already set up. It's like they wanted this other thing set up, but it's already set up. They can't stop it. There's nothing they can do. Uh, you know, and if that's going to right away just start announcing things and, you know, you can go to work, we're going to pay you. Because so many people, you know, they rely on work as a way to get money which is a, a good thing you know everybody's got to work for what they want you got to put in some sort of effort but it's going to switch to where your effort is going to be more to gain towards you instead of these upper people who you know use you so the so if he's going to make some sort of announcement so that we don't completely collapse the whole thing uh, i don't know to me, it seems like it's, there's going to be a, a, a collapse, a, some kind of thing that's going to, because that's what has to happen to affect the people, to get them to wake up. So, um, I would think that there's going to be, you know, like a couple days where everything is going to be, you know, up in the air. We're not going to have electricity. We're not going to know what's going on with the money. There's going to be, maybe they'll do martial law because there'll be riots in the street. Like, and maybe that's why they're slowly doing the banks instead of all of them at once because people will freak the fuck out. So they're trying to kind of slowly rip the band-aid off for people to see like, oh my God, the money thing is falling apart. But I mean, how are we supposed to pay our bills once that goes? 
which is that even if, I mean, we have no money, we have no way to pay, we can't pay online, we can't go down with cash, so how do we pay our bills? Because people are sitting there saying, well, people are going to lose their houses. Well, how? How can you lose your house if you have no way to pay, no one to pay? Who are you going to pay? And uh, so, that's what I mean. There's going to be, like, who, is the mailman going to go to work? Is the trash man going to go to work? Is the policeman going to go to work? Is anyone going to go to work when there is no uh, paycheck that's going to come? And how many people are going to be waiting for that paycheck on Friday? And then there's no paycheck. I guess um, the paychecks that just went out to people, that they um, had no federal taxes taken out because the government can't take money anymore because the taxing is shifting because uh, Masara and stuff, the whole taxing thing was never supposed to be the way it was. Taxes were supposed to be if you wanted to, it was like a donation towards the government or something. It was never supposed to be. And then they just start taxing us on this, taxing us on that. And don't forget when this fucking country started, they told us it was all about this, to get away from the taxes and this tea party. And we're not gonna pay your taxes and dump the tea in the Boston. Uh, it's just like, a, uh, you know, and then there, here we are, just tax this, tax that, tax this, tax that. And then he also brought up the schools. And, you know, we just need this basic stuff being taught. What is all this bullshit that they're teaching? And so there's going to be, in his future cities, in the future for our cities, that there's going to be more money put into, um, yeah, so there will be places that will teach these basic things like reading, writing, and stuff. I think it's going to go more like what I'm saying. You know, they'll be back to cooking and uh um basket weaving music all of the different things that people can go in and learn uh, you know and it really has more to do with learning is opening your mind because that even after i got my brain injury that's what they said you have to just keep learning something keep learning stuff even if i can't remember it to keep learning things is um keeps opening roadmaps in your head and so, you know, all of those things, opening more roadmaps and starting more um, synapses happening in there is, uh, you know, and that's why the technology closes it off. You're dependent on that to do your thinking for you. That is going to make you stupider automatically because you're not using your brain. You're not getting it functioning. You're just letting it go dormant. You know, it's like if you don't use it, you lose it. It'll just dry up and just be a heavy little nugget you can carry around in your head while you, you know, stare at your screen that tells you how you feel. It's mental. So, um, um, uh, what was I going to say? So, the, um, uh, but the banking is going to bring the violence for sure. And, the, uh, and then on top of that, then once the medical shit there's man, there's gonna be some people who are gonna be freaking out the retirement's gone um you know they're not gonna be thinking well i don't have a car loan anymore well i don't care my my retirement i've been putting in for that like and they don't realize like there's gonna be all sorts of incentives you don't need to worry you don't need your retirement anymore your retirement was part of the game you won't need that everything is going to be given to you handed to you you know, there's going to be all your needs are going, are going to be filled. If you want extras like traveling, shopping and stuff like that, that would be where you would, um, you know, barter or have a skill or, you know, have a way that you get the things that you want, you know, and maybe it is just, you know, in your community, you know how to play guitar and you just want to help all the kids learn to play guitar and, you know, the thing you get back is all the kids bring you presents and cookies and stuff. And that's all you want. That gives you a fulfilling existence. That you're happy. You know, it, it, it's up to you what you need, what you want, and how you want to be paid. That's the thing that's going to be changing. And that's why it's good to know yourself, know what you have to offer, know who you are. Uh, you know, people are going to know their communities. 
And then, you know, he said they've already got the places, these 11 places, which I'm sure are going to be in safety zones. And I don't know. I had already looked up about them. But, you know, I mean, it's busy on the Snopes, you know, saying that doesn't even exist and shit. So, uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's most of the news just coming in and saying, like, oh, this is just more Trump stupid shit. So, it's going to start being more and more, you know, where, okay, we've got these and we want to, you know, especially if this uh, disaster, like, if they start saying for one thing in Ohio, okay, your ground is poison. You all need to go. Uh, we want to move you here. He's going to say, or over here, right here. We got a good place over here. Y'all come over here. You're welcome here. We love you all. We're building community. We would love you to be a part of it. So that's, you know, the option. So you can go to somewhere different. And it's going to go down in all different places. There's going to be some of that is when they start doing that, I think we'll start finding out more of where they are, how to get involved, and uh, all that stuff is going to keep coming more and more opening. Um, I think that the reason that he's out there right now is because the other guy's about to go down and, you know, it's going to be a real easy just step right on there. And, um, you know, he's saying all stuff. I mean, everybody knows. I can't even believe how long we've gone into this. And he's like, we have a year and a half still to finish this. But, I mean, Joe's about to be arrested. Gates is about to, I mean, all these people is, um, you know, and the 23rd is something about the changing in power and has to do with the financial and stuff. So, you know, is it going to be here for the next week or something to just keep, you know, things falling, banks collapsing, so silly like on oh, this bank's going down this bank's going down it's like you guys it's a whole no i can't wait to start talking to people who can see and can it's what a different conversation oh my god than what is out there <clears throat> it's people i mean what they're just seeing it's like oh, i've been seeing this for years but they're just now seeing it and so much of that. But since they're all on the same thing together, then they're all just seeing it together. And I'm still sitting over here by myself. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, you know, this is this is going to just keep going and going the way it is. And just, I mean, we still have this big, uh, you know, tragedy that's coming. And it could be the, the California tragedy or Yellowstone, for fuck's sakes. Um, and that's going to be like, here, we got the future cities, you know, don't worry, we've got homes for you. We've got, you know, projects going. It's going to really be cool. And it is going to be people who do, do building, people who are involved. Um, you know, I think it'll be a lot of different things, you know, it'll be like an Amish kind of thing to it too, but there will be people who are being paid well by this, um, new <clears throat> development system kind of situation that will be, you know, giving them all the things that they'll need. Like, I mean, it is going to literally be <clears throat> what you're putting out. You're actually going to get back. It's not going to be this way that it was where you're constantly putting out and never getting anything back, struggling and sad and beat down and addicted and all that stuff. No, it's going to be, you're putting out and you can get right back. It's going to be like, whoa, I, it's going to be where people get to feel good. Life is going to feel good for a change instead of feeling so challenging and hard. And there are so many people feeling so beat down. So it's gonna, you know, and, you know, like I said yesterday to, to me, you know, can you imagine, can you imagine, use your imagination and can you imagine a world where people love themselves and love other people, that they can accept other people because they love themselves so much, you know, I can, I can see that. And so, you know, I hope everybody can start imagining that and finding that in their <clears throat> their future existence. You know, imagine how beautiful the world can be. 
and how magical and what it can feel like to be around people who love themselves instead of trying to manipulate to find somebody to, you know, make them feel good for a second. So we're going to go into uh, time and space that is going to be uh, really beautiful. But, you know, there is a lot still. I mean, we still got to go through a lot. We got to go through these people still continuing to wake up and going through the steps and purging out the pain and <clears throat> and when the things flip upside down like I all the people I see who are starting to see it's they're traumatized they just sit and cry and cry like you know they can't even believe what this world is and stuff and then you know they're gonna start feeling really shitty about the parts that played and what they said to so and so and how they talked to that guy and how stupid they look because they couldn't see and you know it's, it's gonna be a lot and um but then there's also as those people are going through it there's going to be this whole wave that is moving out of that healing and moving more into the magic that is going to be the drive to give them the incentive to keep going so you know whatever your role is in it you know play your role and enjoy your role enjoy what you have going on even um you know the hardest things are so beautiful right now and people don't realize because it's hard they think it's you know it's, it's a bad thing because it's hard no it's a beautiful thing and you're showing yourself what you're made of what you're truly made of and you know you're you're really evolving into something special that is your creation from all of the struggles you've gone through. Once you go in to own them and it becomes like, you know, it's the beauty that blossoms from you, from everything you've gone through. So <clears throat> it's a beautiful experience to heal, even though it's, you know, hard, but it gets easier all the time. So don't give up, keep going. And, um, you know, and if you've got family members that are, you know, now you're on your journey and they aren't seeing it and they're struggling, just remember everybody's on their own path at their own time. And, you know, maybe it's you doing well is going to be the motivation. You know, maybe once they see you cross into that next phase of, um, you know, uh, of, um, oh, it was like a bunch of words but of abundance of evolution once they see what it does for you that will be the motivation to get them to want to heal and do better for themselves so just um remember you don't have to force things things are happening naturally and um you know so just focus on you and you know do what you need to do to get yourself to feel better in this world you know uh, take care of yourself you know, sometimes you have to turn off, you know, the the stuff when it's just beating you down. Like, I mean, they want us to be beat down. And you got to recognize, like, when it's too much and turn it off. And, you know, focus on what's real. Focus on, and what's real is what's in your heart. What's real is about love and connection. That's what's real. And working on that energetic con connection. Working on your energy understanding more about you that that's what's real so work on you and take care of yourself and you know we really are at the end really things are shifting there's a lot of people who are going to go through that i mean i've said you know all along once that once this occurs it's going to be a lot of people are going to have a really hard time so just be ready and i'll talk to you later bye